I wanted to start by getting your thoughts on what it's like to step into this amazing action-packed non-stop show it was intimidating <laughs> um, I've never done anything like this before in my life so I have to be honest I had to do some major training I had to train um, um, on the job and the few weeks that I had before I started the job so it, it you know it, it all paid off in the end but it was extremely difficult it was not easy what are some of the things you had to do training wise uh, physical training, a lot, lots of it. Weightlifting, um, because you, you're carrying weapons and you have to be able to carry them, change max sometimes with one arm. So doing cardio and you know the stairmaster is just not enough. I don't care how tight my glutes are, if my biceps are weak, there's no way that I'll look like a soldier. You know, um, I had to do some hand-to-hand -hand combat training, some choreography for fights. I had to learn weapons, know how to handle weapons, feel comfortable with weapons, because that's not something that I'm really comfortable with. I do believe, you know, that, you know, there's no reason for me to have weapons, assault rifles. So I had to educate myself, be educated on safe handling, uh, changing mags, loading weapons. I had to do some, um, what else, explosion uh, knowledge, you know, detonation, detonation and uh, knowing positioning and, you know, different things like that. Stuff you can use and, in your everyday world. Yeah, of course, you know, after <laughs> cooking some breakfast, where is that, where is that, where's my M4, you know? <laughs> what, what are some of the more outrageous things you actually do this season? The more outrageous things this season, because this is my first season, yeah. so um, I would say probably would be um, being able to kill people with the neck snap. Neck snap. Neck snap. <laughs> or being able to, um, uh, you know, uh, run with uh, gear on and have the weapons through mud and water. Uh, that was the most challenging thing, specifically when it's week one. You know, <laughs> there was no buildup. I didn't, I was, it was a baptism of fire, you know, by fire, being baptized in the lake w with all of the other guys that had been on the show for two seasons. And them saying, this is the hardest season ever. And it really was the hardest season ever. And I was like, oh great, and this is my first week. <laughs> <laughs> well, what are some of the cities and places you got to film at? Oh, we had some amazing, beautiful, idyllic uh, areas. We shot in South Africa, um, Joburg, Johannesburg. We, we shot in Port Edward, which is near Durban. Uh, we had the pleasure of shooting in Hungary, Budapest, which uh, you know is an amazing Eastern European, Eastern European, Eastern European city. Uh, it's some great uh, architectural designs, and it's very you know it's a lot of history there, so it's rich with history, and 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 we got a chance to incorporate some of that in the show, which is great. When it comes to having to do so much action and stuff when you're when you're on, what do you guys do when you're hanging out on set but not out there acting? Resting, <laughs> lots of rest. Um, well, for me, honestly, I, I I did have to commit to training a little more. So I would on my off days, I would be in the gym. Um, I would do some shopping, but I would also hang with a lot of locals. I had the opportunity to meet some great people in South Africa, and you know they would welcome me into their homes, and then I would you know have these great home cooked meals, which was something that I kind of longed for because I was the only one that had spent a lot of time out of the country and not really being able to come go back home because it's a long flight. So, you know, there were times I would get homesick. And so to be able to be around people that would say, they were, you know, just happy that I was there and be meeting an American that was doing this great show and portraying this strong character. I had a chance to, you know, learn the culture in, in Budapest and in South Africa. So that was some great things that I did for my time, my downtime. We would also have dinners, of course, but, you know, downtime is nothing like shopping. <laughs>